Hi everyone, today we are making homemade chocolate truffles just in time for Christmas. Hi everyone and welcome to Chocolicious. I'm Gemma Stafford from Gemma's Bigger Boulder Baking. If you're not familiar with my channel, I urge you to go over and check it out. I make over the top desserts perfect for any occasion. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade chocolate truffles. Now I know that sounds a little bit scary, but it's actually really easy. All you need to do is make a chocolate ganache, then we're going to set it, scoop it and roll it in our favourite flavours. For our homemade chocolate truffles, I'm making dark chocolate and milk chocolate. And it's really easy. All you need to do is weigh out your chocolate, scald a little bit of cream and then pour it over the chocolate and let it sit there and melt. It could not be easier. Once you pour over the hot cream, you want to let it sit on the chocolate for around two to three minutes and let it just melt naturally. You don't want to have to over mix this because it actually can separate. Just give it a gentle whisk together. I really like the idea of making homemade gifts for Christmas time and in Ireland, we would actually do that quite a lot. It's actually my most favorite time of year to be home in Ireland for Christmas because all your family and friends are around and everybody's eating and having a good time. So once you mix your white chocolate, then continue with your dark. At this stage, you can add in any flavor you want. You can add in maybe some Cointreau or vanilla extract or even actually vanilla bean into the white chocolate. It is absolutely fantastic. And it never hurts also to add in a little bit of salt to bring out the nice flavor in the chocolate. Mix it until it's nice and smooth and shiny. You can go in and scrape down the side of your truffle bowls just so you don't lose any of the chocolate up the side of the bowl. And that's it. That's how easy chocolate truffles are to make. And you'll notice that the white chocolate one is a little bit runnier than the dark, but that's just the way the white chocolate is. It has less cocoa solid, so it will be a little bit softer than the other. We're gonna refrigerate them for a few hours and let them set up. You can even do it the day before or even a few days in advance. So you'll have your chocolate truffles ready in time for Christmas. I made some truffles yesterday, so I already have some ready to go. And as you can see, they're nice and set. So all we're gonna do is scoop them with some spoons. You don't need a melon ball or anything fancy. You can just use little spoons. What you want to do is just take a little spoonful of your white chocolate and then put it onto the tray. As you can see, the white chocolate truffle is a little bit softer than the dark chocolate, but we're gonna put them back into the fridge, let them set up a little bit, and then we're gonna roll them into balls in our hands. We're gonna pop these guys in the fridge and let them set up a little bit more. Our truffles have set up in the fridge for a few minutes. And to make them just a little bit extra round, this is kind of a messy job, but you're just gonna roll them in your palm of your hand and kind of take some of the edges off. And it just gives you a nice rounder finished truffle. But you know what, they're homemade and sometimes the more rustic they are, the nicer they are. This is my absolute favorite part of making truffles. It's decorating them. I'm gonna start out by showing you how to decorate the dark truffles because the white are a little bit soft and they're gonna stay in the fridge until we're ready for them. I'm gonna roll mine in cocoa powder and in toasted pecans. Now I have to use toasted pecans because it's Christmas time and I've got a beautiful, lovely maple flavor. I also melted some dark chocolate and I'm gonna dip the truffles in the chocolate before we dip them in our lovely flavors because it gives them a nice little kind of a hard shell and extra bite and texture. And any chocolate that's dripping off, just let it drip into the bowl. And then we're gonna to toss this into your cocoa powder. Toss it around in the cocoa powder and get it nice and coated. And there you have it, a beautiful homemade chocolate truffle, perfect for Christmas. And we're gonna put this on a tray to set and can continue with the other truffles. And then onto your tray to set. Once you've decorated all of your lovely Christmas truffles, put them in the fridge until you're ready to eat them. If you're looking for other ideas for the holidays for desserts, then I posted a snow globe cake over on my channel today, Gemma's Bigger Boulder Baking, that I think you will really like, so go check that out. Now you know the technique for making homemade chocolate truffles, you can decorate them any way you like. For the white chocolate truffles, I decorated them in coconut and in candy cane. I think there's perfect for the holiday. I really hope you enjoyed these homemade chocolate truffles and you get to make them at Christmas time. Don't forget to subscribe to Kane Community for more Chocolicious episodes and I'll see you back here again real soon. Happy Christmas.